Welcome to the House of Lords Chamber in the Houses of Parliament. The House of Lords is made up largely of life peers, with experience in wide-ranging fields, including medicine, education, science, the armed services, academia, the arts, business, industry, the charity sector and public life. They meet to discuss legislation or issues that concern them and to question the government. This House of Lords Chamber is one of the most impressive rooms in the Houses of Parliament. Unlike the Commons Chamber, which was rebuilt after the Second World War, the Lords Chamber remains exactly as Augustus Welby Pugin and Charles Barry had designed it. The House of Lords Chamber is a working space and is integral to Parliament's work. As a forum of independent expertise, members of the Lords play an essential role in making laws, scrutinising, revising and initiating legislation. As well as holding the government to account, the House of Lords has a great diversity of membership. The Lord Speaker sits here on the wool sack. The Lord Speaker's role is to offer advice on procedure and to act as an ambassador for the House. The House of Lords is a self-regulating house. The Lord Speaker presides over debate but does not decide who speaks. The wool sack is thought to have been introduced in the 14th century to reflect the economic importance of the wool trade to England. Over the years, its stuffing changed to horsehair, but in 1938, it was re-stuffed with wool from England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and countries of the Commonwealth, given by the International Wool Secretariat. There are over 700 members of the House of Lords. The House of Lords Chamber is mostly organised on a party basis. The government sits here and the opposition front bench over here. Crossbenchers who are not affiliated to a political party sit here at right angles to both the government and opposition benches. They take an independent, non-party political stance when speaking in debates and voting. As there are many independent members of the House of Lords, it's sometimes difficult to tell how the House of Lords will vote on a given issue. There's also a bench for the 26 most senior bishops and archbishops of the Church of England. Their bench is distinctive because it's the only one with armrests. At the beginning of each parliamentary session, the Queen attends the state opening of Parliament, where from this throne she reads a speech prepared by the government which outlines their plans for the forthcoming parliamentary year. State opening usually takes place once a year and is not a usual sitting for the House of Lords. Many fittings and furnishings in the chamber were designed by Pugin, including the solid brass gates at the entrance of the chamber, each weighing some three quarters of a ton. The House of Lords also has a public gallery. Members of the public are welcome to come to watch proceedings, debates on key issues of the day or legislation at any time when the House is sitting. Thank you for watching. This clip is part of a series about the work and history of Parliament. If you'd like to find out more about the work of Parliament or how to arrange a visit, please go to our website www.parliament.uk.